Hi, this is Frank Furness, and I want to show you how easy it is to use the video web wizard. Now, let's take a look over here. What will happen is you'll get a little package like that. You'll double open it. In fact, you'll unzip it, and you'll most probably find that's what's inside it there. All you would then do is double click that to set up the wizard, run, and it'll install the software for you. When it's all finished, this is what it looks like. You'll go in here and you'll see the video web wizard. So let's open that up and I'll show you how the software works. So the first thing it's doing, it's welcoming you here. You can also go in and register for updates. Let's click next. So the first thing it's going to do is say, where is a video? Where can I find a video? And you can see all kinds of formats, FLV, Windows Media, AVI, MPEG, Movie, you name it, and you can bring it in. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to have to look, uh, I've actually put one onto my website over here. This is an interview I did with Sam Horn, so I'm just going to bring that in there. Where am I going to save it? Well, I've put a little file just onto my desktop here where we can save it to. And uh, I've called that there, let's have a look at this uh, video test. I'm going to put it into there. And we'll go next. Now, the next thing it's going to say is how fast do you want it to be? Normal dial-up for telephone, cable, office LAN. So let's say over there, cable 5 megs, that's pretty good. Yeah, you can choose the size of it over there. I'm going to keep it at 320, 240. I keep most of these over here. I don't want stereo. I only want mono, so that's fine. And this is a good rate, 22.050 for the web. If you look at this here, 44.1, if you did that, that would be CD quality, but it would take up a lot of space. So I filled all of that in there. I click next. Now I can choose what kind of player. Now the first time you get this, you'll be able to go in and download some bonus players. And yeah, you can see here are some of the bonus players that I've got. And uh, here are the different players. So that's Rose. I quite like the Halloween dark orange and black look over there. There's your midnight look, also very nice. So what this does here, this is giving you what it's going to actually look like when you're putting it onto the internet. So let's go into the Halloween over there, and we'll click next. Now it's asking me for a page title. What shall I call this page title? I'm going to call it Interview with Sam Horn. And the video title is going to be learn about publishing now the next thing the buffer time it's saying how long must we wait for it to actually download if it's a long video i would normally put in one two three four over there just give it a chance to download otherwise you're going to get that stuttering effect where it plays a little stops plays a little stops do you want it to auto start now i normally don't like it to auto start because nobody wants to just open up and have something playing so i don't click that completion url this says if you want to redirect to another page after the video you can put that in there so i've got all of that i'm going to click next now if you watch what happens it's going to take that video and it's going to get it ready for my website there we go it's all done and we'll now go close and it's all done. So let's go and find it. I actually put it in here onto a video test. Now there, we'll go and open that. And let's put in a flash video. It's done everything. So all I want to do now is I, let's see what it's going to look like. If I go in there now. Right, so there we go. You can see the videos up there. And if you want it to play, I'll just hit the play button. Now also remember you've got the scroll button here, so you can scroll it forward, watch what's happening over there. You've also got your volume button, watch what happens with the volume. So you can get your volume up and down. Everything is built in for you. All you need to do now is upload that and away you go. Let's have a look at something else. You know, a lot of people say to me, how do I download some YouTube videos and how could I maybe put those onto my website? Well, there's two ways. I quite like this. Yeah, let's have a look at this little kid. He's, he's great. If you watch this video. Now, watch this. This is a brilliant little video. 
I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but there's two ways you can put it on your website. The first thing is you could go and you could copy and paste that code. But it doesn't look that great. If you want it to really look good and you want to have your little TV, that, that kind of thing, what we'll do over here, go to the top of the page and you'll see the web address there of that video. So I'm just going to copy that. Now, open another site called YouTubeX.com. And all you would do is you would paste that in there. You would go download that video. It's going to download the video now. There it's downloaded the video and if you have a look there it's downloaded there you can see it is download now you want to save this to your computer so i'm going to download this to my computer i'm just going to go download it's going to ask me where to save it and what i want to call it there we go i'm going to click save it and let's just call it WizKid. And I always name it .flv, otherwise it can't open. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop there. There we go, there you can see. So that's done. And now what I'm going to do is, let's close this down. And let's go straight back here again to our video web wizard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for that video that I've just downloaded that web wizard so if we go there it is wizkid.flv and I'm going to save it into a file that I've just created over here called YouTube test so we're going to put that in there we'll click OK go next again and there we go now same kind of things it's going to ask you the same things I'm just going to click next we'll choose a different kind of player we'll choose a nice rose player we'll click next and we'll call it the wizkid And we'll say, check this out. Buffer time again. I'll give it one, two, three, four. And we'll go next. There we go. Can you see how quickly it's done that? There we go. We go close. And let's go and have a look for it. Uh, we wanted the YouTube test. There it is. Let's click that open and see what this has done for us. I'll now click on that and it should bring up the video that we've just seen but look how much better this looks. So remember you want to click it to play. If you clicked autoplay it would start automatically but if you just click that you'll see the whole video playing over there. There we go. Great stuff. Now that looks good because what you've got that YouTube doesn't give you is this great little video screen. Check this out, volume controls, all of that kind of stuff. Now one of the other things that's easy to do once you've got these, how do you upload it to your site? So yeah, I've just gone in. There's all the things we've just downloaded, the YouTube test. And we've got the WizKid. And I'm just going to put it into one of my websites. And you can use any FTP program. So you must check out my main website, frankfurnessresources.com, because it's got lots and lots of freebies on there. Now, if we go in here, I'll just create a quick little directory called WizKid. There we go. I'll show you how easy this is now to put up on the website. So there's WizKid. I'll open that up. And I'm just going to say, there's all the stuff that was created with this great software. Let's put it onto my website now. So, watch. So, here we go. We're just taking it and we're transferring it over. You'll see how quickly it transfers over. Take that one. So, I've just created this with the great software. I've now put it onto my website. Let's close that there. And let's go and check it out. If I go to my website, my normal one is frankfurnessresources.com. And I just put that into WizKid. There we go. Remember I wrote that. Check this out. The WizKid. And click play. And there you go. That's how easy it is to use this software. So you want to know where to get this fantastic software called Video Web Wizard. 
just go straight to videointernetsecrets.com. Great, great package. And uh, that'll take you to our website over here. And this will show you, if you just click over there, it'll show you step by step, step one, step two, step three, step four, five, six, exactly how to create the videos. It shows you the different screens that you've got over here as well. Tells you exactly what to do. And here are some of the ways that you can use it. Video ads, infomercials, company presentations, webcam messages, videos, promo videos, family videos. There's way, way so much you can use. I would say to you, go and get this great software right now. Remember, videointernetsecrets.com. Thanks for watching.